Put out first for the Fortress! 2023! Hell yeah! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks with some guy. Who are you again? <laughs> Hold cool, on. dude. Listen, I had to stop because I told you we wanted to sit, so I didn't rock back and forth like a. And as you were saying that, I was doing this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So listen, uh -huh. dude. Listen, let's just start over and let me not rock, okay, okay dude? All right, let's rock. No. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, and I am joined by. It's been a while, right? It has. Who are you? I am still Bishop Walker. Even though you haven't seen me in a long time, I will tell you that I've missed you. But we've been working very, very hard on a lot of really, really cool things. And the reason that we've had to be all zip-lipped about everything is that we've actually been uh, drowning in non-disclosure agreements between people. And we've set out on this weird journey at the beginning of this year, and we said we were going to kill everything. Mm -hmm. And now things are starting to show. Stuff is dead. Motherfuckers just ran through. We killed it. I can't believe it. It's like weird. Like the whole thing started, and um, of course it just started some legs of its own. And we thought we were going to do one cool project. And then we did two cool projects. And then we did three cool projects. And now we're doing more cool projects. And um, I think it's not only cool that we're getting the opportunity to do it, but I think it's cool that we get to share it with you guys on a more intimate level than usually gets uh, disclosed with people, that's for sure. So before we hop on into this, I just want to say, since it's been a while and since I've missed you so much, I've been over here reminiscing. Do you remember that time we went to Texas? Man, do I remember that time. That was probably one of the funnest trips we went on. Definitely one of the best trips that we've ever been on. And we've been on a lot of good trips. A lot of good trips. <laughs> but Texas? Texas was... Hey, Patrick, what am I now? Uh, stupid? No, I'm Texas. What's the difference? <laughs> you know what, dude? There was a time we had done something, and then we did this thing, and we were kind of treated like shit and whatever. And then right after that, we did something else, and they treated us so well that we were so like, well. we were like, oh my god, I can't believe these guys are super nice. I will tell you, this year kind of started the same because um, at first things were looking a little weird, but I'll tell you what, we went out to Texas, and we got treated like straight gentlemen, royalty. They were so nice. Everything, so nice. all the way through, all the steps of the way, it was the easiest thing that we've done so far. Not saying anybody else was super hard. If we're working for you, we're working for you! But I will tell you that who did we mess with? Who, who, did, we go to, who did we go to Texas to mess with? So, I don't know if a lot of people in the audience are going to recognize this name. There's a band, and they actually just started touring again, hmm. and they literally just started a new leg. Of a new tour. Wow. And guess what, guys? Who is it? We worked with Who? Mudvayne. <laughs> Thirteen-year-old me would have never, ever believed me telling me that. I would have pooped my pants clean off my body. It was weird. And it's funny because we've had to shut up about it. We've only been able to tease little weird stuff. And it's probably one of the more exciting things that we got to do this year. And if you guys were able to see Mudvayne kick off this first leg of this tour, you would have seen Greg walk out on stage looking absolutely magnificent. He looks like the alien. Dude, it looks... It, I'm telling you, the, on the live portion of it, where the lights are going boom, 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 and it's going red, black, red, black, red, black. That is Mudvayne. Mm -hmm. That is that shit, dude. Well, let's talk about it. Okay, first of all, massive shout out to Greg and Debbie. Man. Just just above and beyond. That was It was honestly probably the best work-related venture we've ever taken. And uh, they took really, really, really good care really of us. Really good so care of us, for sure. Massive shout outs to them. And with that being said, obviously the member that we have worked with is Greg from Mudvayne, Mr. Greg Trivet, the alien himself. Man. And uh, yeah, so basically... 
this whole project came together because Debbie and I became friends via social media. She is a saint, just the absolute nicest woman you will ever encounter in your life. She and is. She is wonderful. For she sure. is. Uh, she had just briefly mentioned to me that Greg was wanting to spike his hair again, but didn't want to deal with it. And that's why we were seeing so many top hat looks. And occasionally we would get him spiking his hair up and out and he looked like the old Greg again. Old Greg. God, I don't want to make that reference on YouTube. I'm old Greg. Pleased to meet you. As soon as she said that to me, instantly I had like just a, a, a crazy moment in my brain where a light bulb went off and I was like, dude, a headpiece can exist. Like this can work. And I just, I had this idea of prosthetic head or a forehead, I guess, upper half uh, from the goggles up. And I knew that the goggles could be the piece that made it seamless because the goggles would be hidden. So I started coming up with this concept. I got a hold of Bishop. I said, dude, we have the opportunity to do this. Obviously, Bishop's going to be involved because I can only do so much. And uh, yeah, everything just kind of went from there. We took the concept. As soon as he told me, as soon as he told me what it was, me being the weird mask collector I was, I, I started looking back on like some of the old things that I had seen and, and some Caesar disguise stuff. All of those cool things, those old burglar masks, the fucking... There's just a, a whole bunch of reference that we took inspiration from to get this done. But when he hit me up, <clears throat> we were in the midst of a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, I knew I needed some help. And since Pale Facing Company keeps a nice company, um, I hollered at Joshua Everett's... Um, the man, the, the myth, man, the, the, myth the fucking legend. And... Um, he helped me get the prototype together. I flew down there for three days. We didn't sleep for three days. It was funny. His wife was coming down and checking on us like, hey, you guys need to get some sleep. Mm -hmm. But the way things were rolling, we had to show the prototype at a certain time. And uh, we only had a this little bit of time. So we smashed that. And Josh, I can tell you that he is a monster. Yeah. And I've, I rarely see people that hang with me in the dungeon. And this dude was running and running and uh he's an absolute pleasure to work with super underappreciated oh man he is the one if you guys think he's not the one he's the one um so josh helped me get the prototype together um and then i came uh, came back brought it to aj um and then we went out to texas and we showed greg the prototype That was Fuck, a fail. Dude. That's fucking crazy. That's sick. Fuck me. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's perfect. We don't need to cast my head on. This is perfect. <laughs> yeah, I told you he was going to say that shit, dude. Like, dude. No, you can't dude. go nowhere. That's heavy. Yeah. And the prototype was so good that Greg was like, This is the one. He's yeah, like, We don't take, need to do anything. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just take, take this. this. Yeah, I'll just Love take it. this. We were like, No, no, there's a way better way to do it, dude. We got to do it right because you're going to be on stage. We want it to fit right. So let's get this casting done. And then we casted his head and we brought it back, dude. And now what you are seeing is actually Greg's head with the goggles and the stalactites. And those stalactites are something that AJ was very passionate about. Me and Josh tried to take it three different ways. Um, and we would call AJ at like three, four in the morning. He'd be like, "Hey, how's this look?" He'd be like, mm, "Hear me out." <laughs> there was just a there was a thing I saw it. It worked so well to have this alien like texture. Yeah. And honestly, I'll tell you, the idea started with Balsax shoulder blades. Yes. Because I'd never seen sculpted stalactites that looked more perfect for what I had in my mind for these spikes than Balsax shoulder pads. So that was the first reference, and then we just went from there. And uh, yeah, I just knew that like stalactites, red, black, he's red and black, alien-esque textures, Goggles. and uh, you can make them any size you want. So yeah. we wanted to make them the size that his hair was. We did crazy measurements on pic on different photos. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it really, really came out super, super well. And this is actually a uh, kind of like a backpedaled version, a scaled down version of what we wanted to do. And that's only because Greg specifically did not want battery packs and other stuff. We had uh, we had created the prototypes to have backlit lights on the lenses so that when he flipped the switch, you would see different um, patterns and symbols light up on his forehead. Uh, we had talked about doing waving LED lights in the stalactites 
So maybe there will be a V2, and it'll maybe, be even crazier. But maybe honestly, we can get V2 cracking. I this think one gets the job done, man. It's funny because the lighting does what it's supposed to do. When we were doing everything, and I told you, dude, I I think that the webbing between the stalactite is going to get drowned out by the black, and I I I was hoping that it wasn't going to happen on stage. And now that I'm looking at it on stage, it looks perfect. They look great. They came out there in that show. They sounded great. Um, I think that this is all funny because it's all the little breadcrumbs. Because if you remember, it must have been two years ago where we were at incarceration. Mm -hmm. And we were super stoked that they were coming back out. Reunion. And we got a head prop up there. Mm -hmm. And the guy that grabbed the head prop is now sitting there. Doing all the backup, and, and it's cool because he sits there, hits me up, shows me pictures of the headpiece that now we make Greg. Mm -hmm. What is happening, guys? So here's how cool it is. Aside from Joshua Everett, we also kept it in the family, literally kept it in the family, because not only did we create these headpieces for Greg, we went the extra mile like only Pale Face and Co. will do, and we got armatures built to keep the heads on. That way they'll never lose shape. They're going to be fantastic. And they actually feature my dad's face because we didn't do a full life cast on Greg. We only did the top half. So we needed a face for those life casts. We got my dad's on there. It's scary how identical it is. It looks just like Greg. Yeah, it's pretty weird, dude. And then we had a traveling road case built by none other than our good, good friend and little brother, William Pissalotho. He's going to be mad that I made that joke because it's been run into the ground. But Willie P fucking came through big time. Dude, That's huge! Honestly, probably my favorite part of the project because it's so... So far out of our element. No, so this is what happened. It's funny. When we started doing all these things, these spikes were supposed to be getting bigger and stuff like that. And we had to come to an agreement like, dude, you're going to have to have a road case to, to make these things move and stuff like that. And you can't move a house. So we came to this thing where he was like, okay. And we were only supposed to be on the front portion of the project. I did the armatures and all that stuff. And we started doing all the things. And then... uh we were, I was talking to Debbie one night and I told her like, well, one of our friends actually does that for a career. And he, a lot of people don't know, but the buddy boy does the thing. I mean, he makes professional ones for mm. Disneyland, Disney World, the airports, all of those, yeah. and all those things. That's what he runs. And he, he runs it very well. And I'll tell you, dude, we sent him the prototype. Um, he still has it. Yeah. I wish we had it back for this video, but there's a good chance that you will see not only the prototype, but maybe another surprise in the future. We'll man, talk about man. that. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a different video. So look, not only were we able to deliver these headpieces on armatures to Greg before the leg started of the tour, amongst the weird stuff that's happened in between all of that. You bought that a mansion. <laughs> he bought a mansion and moved during all of this, and we're still planning Pale Fest, which I don't know if you guys realize, but it's... It's kind of a big deal now. It's a big fucking deal. So <laughs> It's kind of fucking weird how everything's working out. I will tell you that um, uh, the world is this very weird place and you get back what you put in. And I can tell you that the fact that we were able to put in a fucking headpiece on stage in a mud bang thing is absolutely mind blowing, dude. And that's one of the first projects of the year. Dude, that's what I'm saying. So guys, get to Pale Fest because we are literally dying to show you guys what we have come up with. It's it's hurting me. I, I The whole tour, we've been waiting for a month and we've been waiting for months now. Mm -hmm. And, dude, we just have to sit here like, oh, do, do, do. people are doing cool things. I want to be like, hey, dude, I'm doing cool things, too. Yeah. You know? Well, we're doing a lot of cool things, and more cool things are coming. I can tell you that um, that the Pale Face is a portion of this, but the company is a very important portion of this. Like, dude, our team is mean. It is strong. And we eat whatever is in front of us. Mostly shark dinner. Yeah, dude, fucking shark dinners. Don't fucking play with me. With that being said, I want to thank Greg, Debbie, um, anybody that has actually gave us the chance 
to do dope shit for them. Because, dude, I'm telling you, 13, 14 year old me, we were sitting at the restaurant talking to Greg, and Greg, we were saying that, nah, nah, saying things. I don't remember much, but I do remember one thing is that for a large portion of my childhood, all I saw was Greg doing this. And dude, it meant everything. I don't know how to explain it, but to me, and I know that you're going to be like, oh man, he's a fucking poser, whoop, 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 whoop. But guess what? To me, LD was just as important to my structure as self-titled, as Iowa, for sure, one million percent, and more important than the rest of the shit. So dude... To be able to bring back the essence on stage looking as good as it looked these past two, three shows, man, I couldn't have asked for more. So what I'm doing is I'm thanking my team because my team is mean. That's all there is to it.